What do we mean by that? Well, washing your hands to sanitize. But why is one of the most everyday mundane of household chores so effective in the fight against COVID-19? I want to bring into our broadcast now Diane Eels, who is a development manager for Bramley Cosmetics, who believes while it's imperative that we all use hand sanitizers at this time due to the fact that we are all uh, using an excessive amount of the highly alcohol concentrated products, our hands and skin health are going to be severely compromised. Um, Diane Eels, good morning. Morning to you and welcome. I've never washed my hands so often in my entire life. It's all about new behavior, isn't it? Absolutely. And I think it's really important for us to be washing our hands at this stage and to be using hand sanitizer. But at the same time, we need to promote good skin health and to protect our hands during this time. You know, our outer layers of skin is made up of oils and waxes. And those oils and waxes are there for a purpose. They are there to protect us and to protect us from germs and to maintain the moisture that is in our skin. So obviously with all the hand washing we are doing and the hand sanitizing, we are compromising this outer barrier of our skin. So what do you suggest that we do given that uh, it could be expensive and perhaps beyond the reach of many people uh, to do more than just uh, buying hand sanitizer? Absolutely. It's, it's a great concern, I think, of everybody in the cosmetic industry at the moment. And the first thing is when you are washing your hands, um, be very careful the way you are washing your hands. Um, make sure that you're washing with warm water, not boiling water. This is going to, you know, it's going to affect the hands. Don't use too much soap. Try and use a gentle soap, you know, go and um, get something that is kind on your hands. Don't use your dishwashing liquid. Um, when you're washing your hands, don't scrub your hands, you know, wash them, be gentle to your hands. When you're finished washing, pat your hands dry with a towel. Don't rub them with a harsh towel. And what's really, really, really important is immediately after washing your hands, take something like a really good... Um, hand and nail cream and apply it to your hands. Get it apply into all the lits and lits and cracks in the hands. Also, um, oils are really, really great. So oils, um, like a tissue oil or something like that, really good to use on your hands and keep moisturizing. You know, the hand sanitizers as well, they've got very, very high concentrations of alcohol. Alcohol is drying, we all know this. And we can land up with hands that are irritated. There, there can be a lot of sensitivity. We also know that a lot of the hand sanitizers have a lot of fragrance in it because alcohol doesn't smell great. So, you know, you're going to put a lot of fragrance in. And this can definitely lead to a lot of sensitivity and the drying out of the hands. And I suppose as our behavior needs to change when it comes to hand washing, so does it need to change when it comes to the handling of food? Oh, absolutely. Yes, you know, um, talking about when you, when you are preparing your food and then also when you are going to be washing your kitchen down after you have been preparing your food, please use your hand gloves because those detergents are even stronger than our, our normal hand washers. So try and protect your hands as much as possible when you're doing those parts. All right, we'll leave it there.